Hayak Latprao by Cody Allingham. It was supposed to be the rainy season, though it had not rained much at all since I had been back in Bangkok. The daylight hours were past in the blinding brightness of farmland near Chomburi, but upon dusk we contended with the traffic to make the trek back to the city. Our hotel was attached to the central plaza shopping mall. I stumbled upon the entrance to it from the mezzanine floor as I explored the liminal emptiness of the hotel after dark. In central plaza there were no shadows. Everything was bathed in the sparkling glow of fiat, so let it be. A climax of shopping and excitement, layers of escalators, food courts, blazing brands and the scent of air conditioning. Plastic packaging, black pink, polished floors, fake flowers, no windows, cash out and on sale. I could only admire the machinery of this place as the patrons were conveyed past me from store to store like a production line or an amusement park ride. Everything you could possibly imagine was there at the centre of the world. In sweat-drenched fatigues and a black t-shirt, I carried my heavy tripod and my camera bag. I tried to follow in their ways. In the supermarket on the ground floor, I bought something. A royal gala apple, grown in Longlands Road in Hastings of all places on this earth. The crunch, dry, wax-coated. I tried to remember how they tasted all those years ago when we used to raid the neighbor's orchard. I left the light and exited out onto the overpass for the BTS Skytrain at Hayak Lat Prao where the five roads meet. Outside, an indescribable heat hung over everything, softened only by the darkness. A young woman played her song at the foot of the concrete stairs, sitting on a small plastic chair. The staff of the convenience store nearby tried to shoo out a tiny white cat that was lingering inside. Crowds drifted by and the woman played her songs. As the night drew on, those who were only passing through were separated from those who lived here, like the tide pulling out to sea. I watched her pack up her instrument and leave. Was she returning home, I wondered. <laughs>